Hanzo. Hanzo. You're a beauty. Priceless. Hey, mind if I join you? I am John Buckner, Federal Bureau of Investigation. I'm, I'm Al. This is Barry. Barry. Tell me, John. Was it John? Yeah. yeah. Tell me, John, what is the FBI doing here in Morriston? Are you investigating terrorist apricot growers? <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, taking your prisoner to trial. Uh, a guy sitting across the street there in your jail, name of uh, Walker. Huey Walker. Excuse me, did you say... Did you say Huey Walker? Oh, well, you've heard of him? Are you kidding? Huey, Huey Walker? Walker? Are you, he's here in Marsden? He's across the This guy street. was a maniac. He was a world-class psycho freak boy. <laughs> Come on, you remember why you got famous, don't you? No, I'm a little hazy on the subject. He said hazy. He said, where were you in the 60s? <laughs> on on Tau Seti or something? Or, or I will refresh your memory. Huey had picked up on the grapevine that our illustrious vice president, Spiro T. Agnew, <laughs> was making a whistle stop tour all over the Western states. Oh, Spiro Agnew, they don't make Americans like that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> John, I like you. You got, you got a right, sense John. of humor. Huh? So, Spokane. They're Spokane, in Spokane, Washington. And there's a uh, big crowd. Maybe 10,000. Eat, anyway. And, 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 Agnew. Uh, it's out on the back of the train on the uh, balcony yeah, thing back there. The and the idea is, see, he finishes the speech, uh -huh. and the train pulls out the station. Oh, very dramatic. You know, Agnew rides off oh, into the oh, sunset oh, while the multitudes oh, oh, cheer, right? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Except this time, this time, the train pulls out. <laughs> and they leave Agnew's car behind. And Agnew is standing there saying goodbye. <laughs> and the thumb <laughs> shit's not going anywhere. <laughs> Meanwhile, the rest of the train <laughs> Disappearing yeah, around the bend. <laughs> he was livid. I mean, he blew it in front of 10,000 people. Huey jumps TV up and he cameras. says, I did it. I did it. It was me. I disconnected the trains. I'll tell you, it's it was genius. pure genius. Pure. So what is he under arrest for now? Oh, uh, disconnecting Agnew's train. <laughs> Away for that now? <laughs> no, come on, no. That's right, Ace. This is one American that hopes they throw away the key. Now, what did he what? ever do to you? What did he do to my country? I'm a patriot. Huey Walker, a subversive, a revolutionary. His kind practically took this country down on its knees during the 60s. He's talking about Huey. Did I see something wrong? You loved Huey Walker, man. You were kids. Kids do dumb things. Look at you now. You're all grown up. Now you've joined the system. Wait, 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 wait. Who said anything about us joining the system? I know. Sorry, guys. It takes more than going down to your local video store and renting Easy Rider to be a rebel. Uh, I happen to own Easy Rider. Wait a second, wait a second, mister. We, we, you know, maybe we don't look like revolutionaries, but does not mean that we've sold out. Well, and to prove it, and to prove it, we... We're going to do something to help Huey. I happen to be a lawyer. Yeah, you happen to be a real estate lawyer. Yeah, I Barry. happen to be a lawyer. What do you do, is escrow for him? Don't kid yourselves, you responsible citizens now. Don't jeopardize your comfortable lifestyles for some old hippie. Get in your BMW, drive to your homes, your wives, your children, your hot tubs, your widescreen TVs. Screw Huey Walker. Let them flush him down the toilet of history. Who gives a shit? We do, John. We do, and We don't have to sit here being insulted by some fascist. Okay. All right. What makes you think that I'm a fascist? Gary, let's just get out of here. Yeah, Come on. right now, because this place is starting to smell like pig. Yes. Forgotten, huh? <laughs>